Bristol Martin. Obviously, a few weeks out now to uh, fight with Sergio Martin. That's about 11 weeks, so yeah. quite a long way to go. But you're in training already, so uh, that surprised a few people. What was the thinking? Well, I mean, there's no point waiting about. We've uh, we've got everything. We know everything about, and we know what we need to work on. So, you know, we've been in since. I think it's going to be fourth or fifth week now, since so beginning of January again. You know, everything's everything's going well, and we're working on working on some good tactics to go over there and beat him. Now this fight with Martin is obviously a massive step up for yourself. You've been in a world title fight before, but you know how big is this? What will this put you on the map? It's not a massive step up for me on, on my team. We know what we're capable of. You know what I mean? It's only it's only other people who think it's a massive step. We're very fit over there and beat him. Do you think a lot of people are underestimating you? Yeah, but mate, if they are, that's what I want to do. It's no it's no uh, it's no problem with me. When we go over there and beat him, there'll be no shot to us. Now, do you think that'll make you a bit of a superstar in this country as well? Yeah, I'm, I'm not in it for that. I'm just, I'm just in it to be, to be the best I can be, to provide for my family. Um, obviously, going over there and beating Martinez, it, you know, suppose, suppose you could say that, but all I'm interested in going over there, beating him, and you know, getting involved in some big fights. Now, you're on ringside recently, and uh, certain Mr. Macklin was on there as well on a telephone interview. Said a few things. Seem to uh, maybe get you going a little bit. I've got me going. And it day, put it bluntly, he's a tit in it. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I just, I just can't. He just chat pure shit, and uh, it's just one I can't be asked to listen to it, mate. To be honest with you. I think if you beat Martinez, though, that's the fight that interests you. Well, the, the, the big fights. Like I just said, I want to be involved in big fights. Myself and Macklin, myself and Barker, they're big fights. We, we, we've accepted the Macklin fight twice. Do you know what I mean? He's the one who's knocked it back. We'll see when he beat Martinez, who's lining up outside the front door. A million percent it's him. Now, and Barker was on there as well with you. A bit more um, respect between the, t the two of you, other than yeah. with Macklin. Again, you know, is that a domestic fight that you, you might consider yeah. down the line? Yeah, definitely. I mean, Barker's a good guy. He's only ever respected me, so I've got nothing but respect back for him. Do you know what I mean? That's that, that you treat people how they treat you in life. Um, yeah, again, it's just just a massive fight. Um, me and Barker, and you know, hopefully, they come through this uh, fight all right, and me and Barker can get it on. So, a uh, big world title fight in Broome. Yeah, well, why not? You know, I know we both want to get it on. Um, you know, kind of like just get the days going again for uh, Ben and you, Bank, and you know, all, all that. So, yeah, I'm just looking forward to uh, get, like I said, going over in April. Um, Oh, for the plan as well, we beat Martinez and just being involved in some great fights, securing my, securing my future. Is it daunting in any way having to travel to Argentina? Daunting. Uh, I won't lie, it's going to be, you know, there's nerves there, but just like any other fight, uh, it's going to be hostile. Um, you know, it's not daunting at all, I'm really looking forward to it. Excellent, well, good luck in April. Cheers, mate. Thanks, nice